China will next year give Ghana technological training in renewable energy. The training falls under a four-year program to increase alternative energy into the supply mix. The project will focus on solar or wind energy for irrigation, biogas, many hydro and improved cook stoves. A memorandum of understanding initialed in Accra on Monday marks the start of the program, which is seen by many as critical to improve power supply, which has been hard hit by shortfalls due to a combination of factors, including poor rainfall and damage to the West African gas pipeline. It is estimated that 24% of Ghanaians have no access to grid electricity. The 76 who have access to grid electricity do not have it on a regular basis. The recent energy crisis that hit the country renewed calls for the introduction of renewable energy in the country's energy mix. This was evident in the passage of the Renewable Energy Act in 2012. The China-Ghana South-South Cooperation on Renewable Energy Technology Transfer Project is an important step in implementing the provisions included in the Act. The project is between the governments of Ghana and China, UNDP, with funding from Denmark. The project facilitators, the UNDP believes that the project will increase access to energy for the rural poor. The project that we are launching uh, today will facilitate the development and the transfer of renewable energy technologies from China to Ghana. The same, the, the same way that it's doing with China and Zambia. It will provide the support required to make the technologies effective, including training and capacity capacity building as well as transfer of know-how, which is very important. We want this project to represent the best practice in South-South cooperation. The Chinese ambassador to Ghana, Madame Sang Boyang, said the project will focus on solar or wind energy for irrigation, biogas, mini hydro and improved cook stoves. I wish to assure you that the embassy of China will do its best to facilitate the smooth implementation of this project. And also, China has other newly developed and applicable technologies that we wish to transfer to Africa, including Ghana, on a priority basis. The Deputy Minister for Energy, Mr. John Jinapo, pledged the ministry's support for a successful project, which he said will eventually reduce poverty. The Director General of the Energy Commission, Mr. Alfred Ofosu Ahinkra, explained that the project will span four years, beginning from 2015. He said the project will have a strong focus on private sector development and inclusion. 